Toshiba's first Android tablet, the Thrive, was a solid device, but its bulky design made it larger and heavier than competing tablets. The company's new line of Excite tablets are anything but bulky. At .35 inches thick, the Excite 10 is almost half the depth of the Thrive, and it packs a quad-core processor, a gig of RAM, and a full-size SD card slot. How did Toshiba pack better hardware into a tablet that's almost half as thick? Let's find out. I'm Bill Detweiler, and I'm going to crack open the Toshiba Excite 10. Toshiba's Thrive was a very laptop-like tablet with its user-replaceable battery, full-size HDMI and USB ports, and SD card slot. While this design made the tablet easy to work on, it also risked making it too big and heavy for some users. At 0.35 inches thick and weighing just over 1.3 pounds, the Excite 10 is a razor blade compared to the Thrive. And luckily, it's not that much more difficult to crack open. Using a combination of metal and plastic tools, I popped the back cover loose from the front panel assembly and lifted it off, taking care to disconnect the speaker cable in the process. Now that I was inside, the differences between the Thrive and the Excite 10 were clearly visible. For starters, the new tablet's battery isn't really designed to be user replaceable. Now, this eliminates the need for a removable back cover, which the Thrive had. Also, the Excite's flexible battery is thinner than the Thrive's hard shell unit. Second, with the exception of the speakers, all the Excite's internal hardware is mounted to the front panel assembly. Much of the Thrive's hardware was mounted to a separate and rather thick internal frame. In fact, nearly all the Excite's internal plastic structures are thinner than the Thrive's. Third, the Excite 10's display and front panel are permanently joined. Now, this makes it impossible to replace one without replacing the other, but it eliminates the need for the large mounting plate which held the Thrive's display in place. Lastly, the Excite's overall hardware layout and internal design is just more like a tablet and less like a laptop. Gone is the separate Wi-Fi card, gone is the removable storage chip, and gone are the full-size HDMI and USB ports. But what you lose in full-size ports and replaceable components you gain in a thinner, lighter, and for most tablet buyers, better tablet experience. Especially when you consider the Excite 10 has a quad-core Tegra 3 processor and a gig of DDR3 RAM. Now, to see more teardown photos, check out my full Cracking Open gallery at techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.